F1 2020 was an amazing game. Some of the features in this game were very successful, like my team career mode, which became quite popular. Since F1 2020 is sadly getting deleted on March 15th, I want to make a tribute to this amazing game. So this is... What was so great about F1 2020? The first thing I'll be talking about is my team. This was such a brilliant addition to the game. It sounds like a simple idea. You run the 11th team on the grid and drive for it. You manage R&D just like in regular career mode, but you also have to choose your teammate. Bruh. And manage your facilities which make you upgrade your car faster. When your team begins to gain more acclaim, you can also sign sponsors with certain challenges and start earning some more money. In the beginning of your career, your car has the same pace as the K-Drum F1 team. But after a couple of races, you can start challenging for points and in the second season, you have a decent chance of being in the title fight. My team career mode was overall received very positively by people because it feels like you're building your own story in the world of Formula 1. It also feels rewarding when the team you created starts putting up some great results. Something that was heavily criticized in the newest Formula 1 game were the humongous amount of glitches. F1 2020 is a fair few game breaking bugs, which made it much more enjoyable at the release. F1 2020 only had 9000 people leaving the game in the first few weeks, which may sound like a lot. But when you compare it to the very bugful game F1 22, it isn't too bad. Because that game saw 15000 people leaving in the first two weeks. In my time going back to F1 2020 to capture footage for this video, I had zero bugs happen in about 20 hours of gameplay. And I sadly can't say the same about F1 22. Most of these 20 hours were spent on the next great thing. I honestly don't understand why they removed the classic cars in F1 2021. They were amazing to drive and I've re-downloaded the game so many times just because of them. I understand that adding a new feature is hard, but why delete an amazing feature? Just hear this engine sound. The classic F1 cars can be driven in championship mode, special events, time trial and grand prix mode. The special events appear before some race weekends in career mode, just like the supercars do in F1 22. But you can't tell me this is way better than this. I'm not saying the supercars are bad, I'm just saying the classic cars are much more enjoyable to drive. Due to the pandemic, a couple of real F1 drivers came to the F1 2019 game and started playing it. Which didn't only deliver a lot of fun moments like this one. George, you are so bad! But also gave Codemasters plenty of feedback for F1 2020. F1 2020 is also widely considered to have the nicest handling model of the entire franchise. A handful of people have gone back to F1 2020 because of the handling model. Such as Jarno Opmer and Jake Bin. Sorry, Bannon. They have both mentioned in the video of Yarn Opmeer uploaded on the 11th of March that the game is very nice to drive on. If you don't want to take my opinion on this, that's okay. I will show you some other opinions from other people to back up mine. Two times esports champion Yarn Opmeer has this to say in F1 2020. Of course his opinion will be influenced by him winning the championship in F1 2020 and F1 2021, but also the casual players of the F1 game think F1 2020 is a great game. Almost 92% of the people that voted for the game on Steam were positive about it. That is the highest rating of every F1 game made by Codemasters. F1 2020 is currently on its way to have a resurgence in the F1 game community, with a bunch of people coming back to the game. With some people actually making some very nice mods for the game. Of course this game isn't perfect. Take the AI for example. The AI in F1 2020 is subject to the conga line where you can easily pass them on the outside like this. Like I said, the game isn't perfect, but it is the best Formula 1 game from Cody by a country mile. I just hope that F1 23 that has recently been announced by EA will look more like F1 2020, with some features added that the community would love to have. But discussing that wasn't really the purpose of this video. If you made it to this part of the video, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. And if you have something to say about the video or you think I missed something, let me know in the comments below.